Hey, are you making at least $11,000 a month from your online business? If not, don't worry. You're in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take your first big step toward earning a passive income, whether you're on YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram. By the end of this video, you'll be fully equipped to create your first successful what-if video, which is one of the most exciting and growing niches right now. Just to give you a little inspiration, there's a YouTube channel in this niche with over 8 million subscribers, and the best part? There aren't many channels like this out there, making it the perfect opportunity for you to jump in and grow. Let me give you a glimpse of what this niche looks like. Imagine this, you're sipping your morning coffee, scrolling through your phone, and bam, a 40-foot T-Rex casually strolls past your window. Yep, dinosaurs are back. But how? Why? And more importantly, can we survive them? Let's dive into this Jurassic chaos. If you start creating videos like this, there's no way your content will fail. So stick around till the end, because I'm going to hand you the keys to making some killer what-if videos. If you're ready, let's dive in. First of all, we have to write the script. From writing the script and generating the visual, I will use an AI tool hub called Chat LLM Team by Abacus AI. After coming to the Abacus AI, click here and then create an account. By the way, I will put all the links in the description. This is the Chat LLM homepage. Here at the bottom, you will find various tools to create images, playgrounds, videos, and more. At the top of the page, you will find all the popular LLM models to generate the content. Here, you can notice all the popular AI models to generate content. However, I will train my own model so that I can create my script easily. To do that, click on AI Engineer from here. Okay, this is the AI Engineer interface. Here, you will find two options. Create a custom chatbot and create an AI agent. The AI agent is for creating a complex automation agent. As we will only generate a script, I will choose Create a Custom Chatbot. Once I select the Custom Bot option, it asks for the bot's name. I simply typed What If Script and hit the Send button. On the next step, it asks for the knowledge base. As I have no knowledge base, I will type No and then hit the Send button. Now we have to define the work of the chatbot. So, I am typing Write Script for my YouTube channel. In the next step, we have to enter all the information about our script so that the AI can write a perfect script for us. I already made a prompt. I am pasting it here. I will put the prompt in the description. Now, Abacus AI will train the AI model for us. It will take some time. I am fast forwarding the video. Okay, our model is ready and deployed. You can access the model from here. Okay, this is the AI model I trained just now. You can access it later from here. Now, to write a script, we just have to enter the topic here in this box. For example, I want to write a script on What if dinosaurs come back to Earth? After entering the topic, hit the Enter button. And here it is. Our AI model has started writing the script. Okay, our script is ready. Honestly, it is a very good script, and I am pretty sure that it will attract the audience. So, what next? Now we have to generate a voiceover with this script. You can generate voice using any AI tool even with the chat LLM team. However, I will use DubDub AI. This is an amazing AI tool that can generate AI voiceover, AI avatar video, translate video language, and much more. Most importantly, the voiceover is monetizable. Okay, after coming to the DubDub, create an account. Once you are logged in, your interface will be like this one. Here, you will find all the AI tools to create content. As we will generate the voiceover, I am selecting the AI voiceover tool. Okay, this is the AI voiceover generator interface. First, we have to enter the script here in this box. So, copy the script and paste it here. Now, we have to delete all the unnecessary parts of the script, such as visual descriptions and others. Just keep only the narration part. Once done, we have to choose a voice model. Before that, if your script has more than one speaker, then enable the multi-speaker option from here. This feature is perfect for creating podcast voiceovers. I have only one speaker, so I am going back to the single speaker option. Okay, now to select the voice actor, click here on more voiceover. Now you will find the vast library of dub dub voiceovers. To find the voiceover, you can set a filter. On the left side, you will find the use cases. So, select the use cases from here. After that, 
set the language and accent from here. Next, set the gender and age. In the end, set the quality of the voiceover. My suggestion is to go with Ultra. You will find all the voiceovers that match the quality. Now listen to some of them and then select the perfect one. Once upon a time in a small village. Once upon a time in a small. Once upon a time in a small village. Once upon a time in a small village. However, if you have a particular voice sample and want to use a similar type of voice actor, then you can use the search for matching voices feature. After selecting the feature, you have to upload the voice sample. You can even use a YouTube, TikTok or any kind of video link. After uploading or providing the voice sample link, click on Start Searching. And you will find the voice models that sound like your voice sample. You can listen to them and use the perfect one. To another essential movie, today, once upon a time in a small village, there you can even clone your own voice. Here in the My Voice tab you can see all of my cloned voices. To create a new voice clone, simply click here. Now you have to upload a voice sample clip, record a sample with a mic, or provide a video link with voice. After that, set all other settings and click here. DupDub will clone your voice within a few minutes. Okay, once you find the best voice for your voiceover, click here. Now to listen to the preview, click on the play icon from here. You're sipping your morning coffee scrolling through your phone, and bam! A 40-foot T-Rex casually strolls past your window. If you find any issues in pronunciation then you can fix it using the alias, phoneme, or say as tool from here. You can add pauses, set pauses, control speed, and much more. Give proper time to customize the audio to get the best result. Once you are done, click on the export button from here. It will generate the voiceover and save it into our device. Okay, our voiceover is ready, and now it's time to generate the visual. To generate the visual, we need some rich prompts. Don't worry, the AI will help us to generate the prompt. After coming to this page, I am entering another prompt. You will get the prompt in the description also. After entering the prompt, hit the send button. And here it is. Our prompts are ready. Now, copy the prompt and paste it into a doc file. Okay, let's create the visuals. To do that, create a new chat. After that, select an LLM model from here. You can use anyone. Now you can generate visuals in two ways. First, generate the images using the image generator from here. After selecting the image generator option, select the image generation model. You will find almost all the popular text to image generator models, including Flux, Dolly, Recraft, and Ideogram. After selecting the image generation model, select the number of images you want to generate and then enter the prompt. After entering the prompt, set all other settings. Once done, hit the generate button. And here it is, the images are ready. The result is pretty amazing. Now you can download the image from here, and then turn them into video using the video generator. To access the video generator, click on more from here, and then select the video generator tool. The chat LLM team gives you a bunch of options to generate the video. You can generate videos using Luma, Runway, Kling, Hunayun, WAN 2.1, and even Google VO2. For example, I am selecting Google VO2. After selecting the video generation model, enter the prompt here in this box. After that, set the aspect ratio and video duration. Once everything is set, hit the generate button. It will take some time to generate the video clip. So, let's fast forward to this part. And here it is, the video clip is ready. Okay, this is our result video. Honestly speaking, I can notice some unusual movements here in the video. We can fix it by customizing the prompt. However, Google VO doesn't support the image to video feature. To use the image to video feature, you can use Runway ML. After coming here, upload the image and enter the prompt and then set all other settings. Once done, hit the generate button. Here is the video clip we got from Runway. So now you can generate videos using almost all the popular video generator models. So try some of them and then choose the best result. And in this method, generate all the video clips with the prompts. Okay, our visuals and voiceover are ready. Now it's time to edit them. You can use any video editor app. I will use CapCut. Alright, first of all, import all the video clips into the media bin. Now insert them to the timeline in ascending order. Give proper time to set the video order properly. Once the video infestation is completed, import all the narration and voiceover. 
Now, insert them into the timeline and set the position according to the need. Sometimes you may need to adjust the video duration. Do it properly. Once the narration part is set, insert the BGM and sound effects. Give proper time to set sound design. It's very important. After completing the sound design, you can add some effects to make the video more engaging. Next, you can add translation between the scenes if needed. Once everything is set, hit the export button. It will take some time to render the video. So now you can create scripts and visuals and do anything using the Chat LLM team. And how much do you have to pay? Just pay $10 per month and you will get access to all of the premium tools in just one platform. So don't forget to try this tool. All right, our video is ready. Let's have a look. Imagine this, you're sipping your morning coffee, scrolling through your phone, and bam, a 40-foot T-Rex casually strolls past your window. Yep, dinosaurs are back. But how, why, and more importantly, can we survive them? Let's dive into this Jurassic chaos. Okay, first things first, how did they even come back? Did someone invent a time machine? Did scientists pull a Jurassic Park and clone them? Or did they just take a really long nap and wake up like, hey, what did we miss? Nope, turns out it's science. Maybe we found some super preserved dinosaur DNA in a mosquito trapped in amber. Thanks, Jurassic Park, for the idea. Or perhaps we accidentally opened a portal to the past? Either way, dinosaurs are here, and they're not here to cuddle. Now let's talk about the real problem. Dinosaurs aren't exactly pet material. A T-Rex could eat your car for breakfast? A Velociraptor? Yeah, they're smarter than your average toddler and twice as sneaky. And don't even get me started on the flying ones. Pterodactyls would turn air travel into a nightmare. Now, let's talk about real estate. Cities? It's just amazing. By making some extra effort, you can make more captivating videos. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience creating videos with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!